I work my butt off. You have to be willing to do the work, but as long as you're willing to do the work, honestly, you can go as far as your mind can take you. I'm Maddie James, a full-time influencer based in Atlanta. As an influencer, I get to create content with household name brands and post it on Instagram, YouTube, or even my blog and get paid for it. And I also teach influencers how to pitch brands so they can turn this into their business as well. When I was a kid, I was so convinced that I was gonna be a singer. That was my whole thing. I even left college early and moved to New York City because I was like, I'm gonna go record a demo and I'm gonna meet people in the industry and I'm gonna become a singer. So after that fell through as well, I was like, you know what? I really like blogging and I went to school for writing and journalism. Let me give this whole blog thing a try. I started my very first fashion and beauty blog and that's what took off and that still didn't take off for about three years like I pretty much blogged for free I, I always say this at the end of the day it really is just about my mindset and belief in myself and I have always believed in myself and I'm willing to do the work and you know luckily that worked out with this whole influencer thing so a day in the life of Maddie James is really up in the air depending on what day it is of course I'm a mom of three and the little one has only been here for almost four months. So that has definitely been a new juggling act. I used to be one of those people who could work at night, but now that I have a family, I and again, because I work for myself, I'm really, really fortunate to be able to kind of shut the day down at 4 p.m. and just really kind of tackle it at 8 a.m. again. I like to get up pretty early, but depending on when one of the kids gets up, I might be by myself, I might be with one kid, but I like to get up around that five to six o'clock hour or in between there anyway, and get even 15 minutes to myself. That is so important to me, because honestly, once I get 15 minutes to myself, I really have cleared my mind and kind of set the tone of peace internally so I can handle the day no matter what happens. I'm all in as a wife and mother. I really, really pride myself on that. And then when I go to do my work, whether it's blogging, shooting a YouTube video, whatever have you, I can be all in because I was all in at home first. I don't have any issues with guilt personally just because I know I need to be 100% present and mindful when I'm home or in like that home mindset as wife and mom. But also then when it comes to my work, I give myself permission to be all in because I did what I had to do first so now I can do what I wanna do in my business and thrive. In 2010, when I started blogging, I knew that I was going to grow into something bigger than what I started. I don't know if I knew that it would take me to where I am now. It's kind of incredible all the opportunities I've been given, and I'm so, so grateful, so incredibly blessed. I don't take any of it for granted. I mean, the fact that I get to essentially be myself and get paid for that is wild to me. because I want others to know that they can do it too. You don't have to have a million followers. You don't have to look a certain way. You don't have to be like me. You don't have to be a mom. You don't have to be living in Atlanta or anything like that. It really is possible for you to, you know, do what I'm doing as well too, if that's really what you wanna do. You just gotta be willing to put in the work, you know? To all my black moms out there who are interested in getting into the digital space, creating content, whether it's your own blog, your own YouTube channel, your own podcast, or all of the above, I wanna say that you can do it. I think it's so important, and this is why I'm so vocal, this is why I'm consistent and I put myself out there, because hopefully, an Instagram post of mine, this interview that you're watching now, hopefully that encourages you to start. If I can do it, you can absolutely do it. You don't need to feel guilty. The only person who can truly give it, give you permission to do that is you, and I want you to do it, you know? When we do these things, one, we, we bless our children, right? Because we took a chance on ourselves, and then we give them permission to take a chance on themselves as they grow into their own, you know, people, and they have their own dreams and goals and aspirations so that's huge but then what you also do is you give the other mom the other woman who looks similar to you you then give them permission silently and subconsciously
honestly, that they can do it too. You don't have to feel guilty. This doesn't mean that you have to put your kids or your family on the back burner. And you might already have a lot on your plate. So I'm not saying that you should just like dump on and take on things that'll overwhelm you. That's not what I'm saying. But if this is something that you really wanna do, if this is something that's in your heart and you've been holding on to it for a while and you've been thinking about judgment from other people, whether it's family members, friends, or just complete strangers online, do not even pay attention to that stuff. That is not your business. Your business is making sure that you go after the dream that you have of starting that blog, starting that YouTube channel. I cannot harp on that enough. It is so important for us to be seen because so many times we are not. I really have taken a step back to kind of reevaluate how I want to create my content. Creating regular, consistent, insanely valuable content is still my utmost priority as a content creator. So that hasn't changed. You can still make some moves and you can still make some really, really great things happen, but you have to be open to being flexible. I had to really kind of go back to my income goals and go back to my goals of 2020 and tweak them. You know, I still plan on doing really great things and now it's even more important to me to do these really great things and, and monetize and do it in a way where I can hopefully help and be a blessing to somebody else. You know, for my family life, I've really tried my best to, one, join forces with my husband. I'm so insanely blessed because he really is my partner. I don't really feel like he's just this roommate that I happen to be married to. So that has been one way we've been able to really kind of do things successfully. We really do talk, even if we don't agree, even if it is inconvenient and uncomfortable. It's like, hey, what are we trying to accomplish today? I have this to do, are you able to tackle this, you know? And we're able to pull it off. For us, it's making sure that we can keep whatever kind of normalcy we can with the kids, making sure we're insanely present and mindful with the kids, making sure they can run outside, even if it's in the driveway for like 20 minutes, but making sure that they feel good, that they feel fulfilled, that they feel normal you know and again it's a, something we have to take one day at a time because if you don't you'll be overwhelmed and no one wants to feel that there's already enough craziness going on in the world <laughs> 